Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Warboss Tay up in this mood. Look what I got, a whole bunch of night goblins. Today we're gonna be doing a Warboss tutorial on how I batch paint large units of troops. Now, the first thing you need to do, of course, is build them, glue them together, and you wanna keep a positive mindset throughout the whole process. So, even when you're first digging the sprues out, the moment you open the box and you think, oh, I'm gonna paint up these guys, they're gonna be awesome, they're gonna look great on the battlefield, I'm gonna do so well with them, I'm just gonna paint them up to, to make everybody think like, whoa, what a great painter this, this person is. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna get into, like I said, a positive mindset. So when I'm building, even from when I'm building, I'm watching YouTube videos, Blue Table Painting is churning out a lot of great stuff. I listen to podcasts. I do something so that I'm not just sitting at my table um, whiling away the time and, you know, just wondering like, oh man, when is dinner? When when can I get away from this stuff? When I'm, How long have I been building? You want to do something that will make the time pass quickly. So some people listen to music, some people listen to podcasts or watch YouTube videos. Uh, I do that, and that's that's the first thing you want you want to do. So even before you get these guys ready to start painting, because the great thing about that is once you're doing that, you can also do it while you're painting. And this is just a little tip that I like to do is that I like to distract myself from what I'm doing. So once you get yourself into a habit of knowing what you're going to be painting and what the process is, which I'm going to be teaching you in this video if you're doing Night Goblins, then I want you to be able to do it and have a good time. Or if you're not having a good time, at least to get through it. That's the hardest part. Okay, so let's look over the paints we're going to be using. This is something new that I'm doing. I'm including all the paints. So Devlin Mud, Ogren Flesh, Thraka Green, Bad at Black for the washes. Okay, so those are the four washes we're gonna use. And the paints we're gonna use are, I grouped them together so that we can see what, what each thing is gonna be for. For the dwarf bits, uh, this is optional because I'm building goblins that also have, night goblins that also have dwarfy bits. So like the inside of the shield, some, some of the dwarf bits are gonna be blue. So for the dwarf blues, I'm using Mordian blue and Enchanted Blue. For the Goblin Skin, we're using Goblin Green. For their teeth and for any bone bits, we're using Deneb Stone. For the cloaks, we're gonna highlight the cloaks actually with Regal Blue, Shadow Gray, and then Fortress Gray. Oh man, I gotta clean my monitor. These are the three that we're gonna use as highlights for our Night Goblin Cloaks. And our Night Goblin, goblin Cloaks are gonna be black. Mechrite Red and Blood Red are for any wood bits. You'll notice that on the GW website, a lot of their clubs and wood pieces are red, so I'm gonna teach you how to do that. And for any metal parts, we're gonna use Bolt Gun Metal and Shining Gold. So, those are the colors. You wanna make sure you have all of those, especially if you are doing what I'm doing and converted up a little bit of some dwarf pieces. If you're not gonna do that, then you can just kick Mordian Blue and Enchanted Blue out of the lineup those don't apply to you. Okay, so once you've built your guys up, that's the first thing you want to do. If you haven't built them up, then by all means at this point, you want to pause this video and build up your night goblins. I built them up with hand, sh hand weapon and shield because I prefer the six plus ward save. I think I said cover save in the unboxing video, but there's also the options to build bow and arrows and spear and shield. So whichever you want, go ahead and build those up now. I've also put some netters in so that they can hopefully net the enemy, give the unit a much needed boost. And once you've built all your guys up, the first thing you're, first step you're gonna do once you've got your paints, you've got your entertainment, podcast, CD, music, YouTube channel loaded up, maybe you're, on a, maybe you're watching this video on YouTube. Hey, that'd be awesome. So, um, what was I saying? You're, you're gonna need to base coat, undercoat these models. And because the models are going to be predominantly black, you're going to be using Bad App Black, or I'm sorry, not Bad App Black. You're going to find a black spray undercoat. I'm sorry, I had too much soda before this video started. So what I use is either Army Painter or some sort of similar spray undercoat and just hit all these models 
get them with the black spray primer and just make sure you get in all the, the, the recesses and and every and everything. And then once you're done, we will get started with the cloaks. So we'll see you when all these guys, little guys are painted in sp spray prime black. All right, players, so as you can see, I have base coated or undercoated my models with black spray primer, which is the easiest way to get your first coat done when you've got a unit that's primarily wearing one color like the black of the robes of the night goblins. So what I've done was I've tried to group the goblins together in similar in similar groupings. So night goblins that have the same body type, um, and by type I mean that have similar faces because all of their bodies are pretty much identical except for the faces. Some of them are screaming, some of them are just kind of scowling. I've put them together so that it's a little bit easier to paint the group together and that's kind of what you want to do when you're painting large batches of models. Put the similar looking models together and also I haven't done it yet but I'm also going to group my models similarly with their weapon loadouts. So I'm going to put the netters together, the guys with the dwarf shields together and the guys with the regular Night Goblin shields together and that'll make it easier for me to to paint the units together. It won't feel as disjointed. So what I've done first is the first step you want to do when you're painting Night Goblins is you want to paint the skin. So the skin you, you just paint with Goblin Green and you just paint their faces and their hands because that's the only skin you see on the models. So I've gone ahead and I've done four of these. The first one I've painted just Goblin Green just goblin green and then I gave these other ones a wash with Thraka green which is a Games Workshop wash or Citadel wash color and this will allow you to get all of your shading done in one go so once again this goblin green as a base coat and then Thraka green as a wash and then on this last goblin I've highlighted up a little bit of the fingertips anything that, that the light would hit the nose the brows the cheeks and the chin, I've hit a little bit of them with goblin green one more time and that's going to bring the, give you a nice little highlight that you just do in one step. And that's all you have to do for the skin. So I'm going to get the rest of these guys done and I'll show you what they look like when we get back. Alright, the next thing you're going to be doing is painting the teeth. Now these night goblins have different faces so some of the teeth look like that. Some of the teeth are like in this kind of scowl. Some of them are... Oh, that's just like the first one. Some of them are in a big scream like this. So the color I use is Deneb Stone and what you do is you drag them across the front of the teeth rather than trying to paint them individually. I just take my paintbrush with Deneb Stone on it and you up. I drag the bristles across the top and then the bottom and what this does is it gets the paint on the teeth without making too much of a mistake on it. There's less likely chance for a mistake and if you do then the simple solution is give the whole mouth a wash of bad at black and that will fill in the mistakes that you made and you won't have to start over from scratch. So that's what I do. Also, if you think that the Goblin Green isn't enough for the highlights, a step higher that you can go is either adding Denim Stone or Rotting Flesh to Goblin Green and touching up one step further with that. Sometimes I like my highlights to be a little bit brighter. I don't like to go all the way up to Bleached Bone though. I've seen a lot of guys that say, oh yeah, use Bleached Bone on the highlights for Goblin Skin. Oh, this guy needs a wash of bad at black in his mouth. But I, I like Rotting Flesh or Denim Stone, it's a, a nice good highlight and it doesn't, it's, doesn't get too glaringly light or bright. Okay, so Denim Stone in all of the Goblin's teeth and then we're going to move on to the eyes. So I'll see you in that next step. Baby. Alright players, the next step we're going to do is painting in the eyes of our Night Goblins. So we use Mechrite Red and then Blood Red to paint in the eyes of each of the goblins. And if you make a mistake, then don't worry about it. You can just black line 
or paint some black around it or some bad up black or any kind of wash, darker wash you can paint in, like if you're doing Thraka green. The, the, the important thing to remember is that it's okay to be a little bit messy with the eyes because we're gonna fix it in post as they say later. So a lot of our mistakes now, we just want to get the paint on the model and we're gonna fix it later. Okay, so mech right red and blood red again. And then I want to show you, I did up some, some test models of what I want to get accomplished by the end. So the finished product for our night goblins are gonna look something like this. We're gonna have a little checkered pattern on some of their hoods. We're gonna have some flames on the others. And some of them are gonna have standard, this red wood night goblin wood with, with silver and dwarf shields like this. And some of them are gonna have standard night goblin bad moon shields with dwarf weapons, looted weapons. So, the next step we're going to do after the eyes, if you want to get started on those, once you're done with the eyes, the next step we're going to do is we're going to get to work on the robes. But the first thing we're going to do with the robes is we're going to paint the rope that holds the robes at the waist. So, a lot of these night goblins have rope tied in a knot, and some of them have, like this guy, you'll notice that he's got a little moon icon. So if they have just rope, like I believe this guy, then paint all of it Camry Brown, the whole thing. If some of them have the, so this would be Camry Brown. Some of them have the bad moon icon. Let's find another one who has a bad moon icon. Uh, oh, you would think more of them have it. Those are all my netters. Here, like this guy. For this guy, we would use bolt gun metal. Okay, so ropes and buckles, I guess, belt buckles. And I'll see you when we're done with those. Alright, so now that we've got our belts and our buckles painted, we're going to give them a wash of Devlin mud. And that will give you some really nice shading. And we don't really have to highlight them back up because they're, the, the belt doesn't really need it. So the next step we're going to go on to are the weapons. If you've got dwarf weapons like I do, the majority of them are going to be black, uh, painted, sorry, over the black you're going to be painting, let's look at this dwarf hammer, the majority bolt gun metal, and then details picked out in shining gold, and then give the whole thing a bad at black wash to dirty it up. If you've got the night goblin hand weapons, then you're going to be base coating them with mechrite red, followed by dark flesh. And then any silver bits are going to be painted bolt gun metal and give the bolt gun metal a wash of Devlin mud after and bad at black after that. And those are the details for that. Mostly all goblin, night goblin hand weapons are comprised either of a stick like this with a little piece of metal attached to it or a sword, a little goblin sword. And if you have one of those like this, then you're just going to be painting it bolt gun metal with a wash of bad at black and then Devlin mud over it. Okay, so we'll see you once all of the weapons are painted. If you've got netters in your army, then the nets you're going to be painting Camry Brown, dry brushing over, and just picking out the, the net part and leaving the recesses black. And then all these little moon symbols at the end are going to be painted in bolt gun metal. So we'll see you when all the weapons are painted up. Alright, the next step I'm going to do is the shields, and so for these, I have two examples. I have the dwarf shields here, which are basically the same. There's um, a rim, a center, and a background. So I'm painting the background Morty in blue, and the rim and the center design in Camry Brown. And then Camry Brown bits I paint over with shining gold. Morty in blue I painted over with enchanted blue. And then I gave everything a Devlin mud wash, and then when that was done, I painted up some of the edges with chainmail to give a little bit of a lightness to it, and a little bit of a shine. And then I painted everything, I gave it a little bit of a go over with dark flesh to make it look all rusty and grody and stuff. But if you're not going to be doing the dwarf bits, then you will have these shields. They're molded bad moon shields attached to the night goblin's arms. 
So the rim, I just painted bolt gun metal. I took my cue off of the back of the Night Goblins box set. They all kind of look like this. So the rim is bolt gun metal, and the design is Ian and Dark Sun, with the black of the background remaining from when you spray primer the model. And then I washed the moon insignia with ogre and flesh, and the outside with bad at black, the rim. And then I just highlighted back up with a little bit of Yand and Dark Sun. Okay, and oh, some of my guys I gave little dwarfy helmets, so I basically kept the same color scheme as with the shields. A little bit of Deneb stone for the horns. So now is the time that you're gonna go ahead and do your shields. And the last bits of our model, really, that we're gonna need to do now that the weapons, shields, skin, eyes, teeth, and rope have been done is the robe. And the robe is quite simple, it's just gonna take a little bit of, a of time to do. So we'll see you when the shields are done with the last bit of our how to batch paint a group of night goblins video. All right, so let's talk about the robes now that we're gonna be painting. You'll need three colors. The first is regal blue, and you're just going to be painting up the edges of the robes. Like so. What's this? A hangnail. Uh, makeup. Call makeup. And on the backs, any of the folds where, or the edges of the robe, tattered edges where the light would hit. And then you go over them a little bit with shadow gray. As you can see here, you can still see the regal blue the shadow gray starts to give it a little bit of a pop and then you're gonna highlight it up finally with what did I have fortress gray and the fortress gray is gonna make it really look really bright and it's gonna be kind of glaring so what you're gonna do after the fortress gray is you are going to wash it with badab black and this is gonna be the result all the colors get melted together really nicely if you don't want to go through all three of these steps, all you really need to do, or from what I can tell looking at the back of the box, is just use Fortress Grey. But when you use Regal Blue, you get a nice dark bluish color that once the Bad Dad Black goes on, it really ties into the black of the undercoat. And then it just builds progressively with the shadow gray and then finally with the fortress gray so that's why we use fortress gray too because with the bad at black wash you wouldn't be able to see it if it was just over the shadow gray or over like a, a, a codex gray or an adeptus battle gray so i'm gonna get the rest of these guys done wanted to show you the difference in all these three rows so first you're gonna use Regal Blue again, then you're gonna use Shadow Gray, you're gonna finish with Fortress Gray, and then you're gonna wash with a Bad Out Black wash. So go ahead and get that done, and I will fast forward to the end when we've got all these guys together. And the reason why you might have been thinking throughout this video, like why didn't I put them on bases and base them up, because I'm still kind of undecided on what I wanna base them as, and also because I noticed when they're off their bases, it allows you a little bit more flexibility when when painting things like the trying to get into under the under the robes under the under the arms and everything and and you might not worry about that and you might just say ah it's okay I don't need to do that but I'm kind of a stickler for that kind of thing so what I do is I put a little blue tack on a piece of cork and then I just stick my model onto it like so and that way I can paint it up Blue tack you can get at any hobby store or any big outlet store or anything like that. Like Walmart, if you live in America. I think I got mine from, from a hobby store. Okay, so why don't you guys go ahead and get that done. And I will see you in the next part of the video. And the robes are done! So that was the last step. You really didn't have to do too much with that if you didn't want to. But my night goblins are pretty much done. They just need some bases. But what I'm going to do before I give them their bases 
is I want to point out that you can see from the video that it's really hard to get into the eyes to do the eyes correctly but from tabletop distance away it's not going to make too much of a difference and what's really going to catch the eyes are what you're going to be doing with the shields or with the weapons so if you do the shields and the weapons all right then uh, you don't have to worry about getting really exactly in to get those eyes because I know how much of a hassle hassle it is to get really into there it's the eyes are really really small so um, the last thing I want to do before I get to the bases are I added some designs to their hoods as you can tell from here I've got a checkered design on one guy and some flames on the other which are two pretty common symbols in most games workshop orcs and goblins or Gretchen for if you're if you do 40k so really simple just take some Kemri brown and then some Deneb stone for highlights and just do whatever pattern you want on the hoods and to do the checkers I just did little blocks and then I cleaned them up with black paint after so you don't have to worry about them being too precise from like I said from far away no one's gonna notice it but they will notice that you took the extra time to put it time and effort to put into getting your models looking nice so I recommend it uh, okay I think that's it I'll, I'm gonna finish off the hoods for the rest of these guys and then I'll put them on some bases and I'll show them to you at the end of this video and we'll have a little wrap up